Konnichiwa, and welcome to Tsuki no Ame, where we try Japanese sweets and treats. Today we have three treats from Boxu. We have this chocolate pie. It has a name I do not dare attempt to pronounce. It is spelled S-A-Q-U-T-T-E, and I just, I honestly don't know how you would pronounce that. Uh, but it is apparently a little chocolate pie, which looks really pretty tasty. I'm pretty excited to try it. And then we have a black sesame mochi, and I just adore mochi. Mochi is one of the treats that really kind of got me into the whole Japanese treats uh, scene in the first place, so very excited to try this. And then this here is actually a box of exclusive. It's called the Black Strawberry, and it is apparently a freeze-dried strawberry that is infused with dark chocolate. So... I have never tried anything like this before. I'm very excited to try it. So let's get started. Itadakimasu! All right, starting with the chocolate pie. Okay. That just does not want to open very well, does it? Okay. So the first thing is the crust is very, very firm, um, but flaky. Usually, you know, when I get a ham pie here in the States, it's not got a lot of pie crust qualities to the crust itself. Um, this one has some elements of that, but it honestly tastes like it's a bit overbaked. It's not bad, but... It's not, I wouldn't consider it a favorite. Um, the chocolate favor also is a little funky. Um, not bad, but I think it's one of those where it's fun to try. I'm not sure that I would seek it out again. So next we have the mochi. And I'm not even going to bother trying to open this without scissors. <laughs> I know better. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. Oh, you can just see it is super pliable and malleable, and it's got kind of a slightly tacky texture to it. Uh, I'm not sure it's got enough of the flour on the outside, really, but honestly, that is not a bad thing or anything like that uh it's just it looks amazing it is so soft this is really really fresh mochi despite being shipped from japan i'm very impressed and you can see i don't know how well you can see with the camera but you can actually see the filling inside you can see where that has lined up so all right So first things first, the texture of the mochi is perfect. It is so, so easy to bite through and so chewy. Uh, and yet, you know, it's not uh, holding up. It's breaking down really easily. The filling is a bit strange. It's not as sweet as I would expect uh, from a mochi. Um, but it's not necessarily bad. I think it would be one of those where just because of how wonderful the texture of the mochi itself is that I would absolutely reach for this again. Um, even though I might, if they had other flavors available, I might go for those first. Uh, well, and if nothing else, I've tried the black mochi now and I want to try all the flavors of mochi because mochi is amazing. All right. Then last but certainly not least, Let's try the strawberry out. Okay. And you can definitely, you can see the chocolate on it and you can tell this is definitely a royal straw, a full on strawberry that they took. All right. Mm. 
Okay, so it's a lot firmer than I expected, which I'm not entirely sure why I didn't expect this. Um, definitely more like buying into a solid piece of chocolate than a piece of freeze dried fruit. Very strong strawberry flavor with it. Um, oftentimes dark chocolate can get a little bitter, but paired with the sweetness of the strawberry, they balance each other out really nicely. Um, it's really pretty good. Definitely, definitely worth a try if you get the chance to, especially if you're somebody who likes chocolate and who likes strawberries. Uh, it, it, if you take a look inside, like this really is like a chocolate infused strawberry. Like it really is just has been filled with all this chocolate is really, really good. Quite unusual. So first off, we have the chocolate pie, which again, just kind of tasted a little overbaked. Uh, so definitely fun to try if you're somebody who likes trying new things just for the sake of trying new things, which I certainly know that I am, then, you know, worth trying out, but probably not something that I personally would want to revisit. And then we have the black sesame mochi, which just had the perfect mochi flavor, uh, texture and flavoring for the mochi itself. Personally, I'm not 100% sold on the filling itself. It could have been a little sweeter, I think, but certainly not bad. And I would not hesitate to try this brand again, uh, though I might want to try out the other flavors in part just because, again, I want to try all the flavors. And then we had the chocolate infused strawberry, which if you like chocolate and strawberries, I would say that would be a must try. Uh, it just, the two mix so well together and it really is just strawberry infused with chocolate. I mean, that's really the only description for that. And so that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for joining. If you like my shirt, the link for that is down in the description below. Please join us again next time when we try more Japanese sweets and treats. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Johnny!